This episode of Philly Fame TV is sponsored by Top Dog Law. Now y'all already know who to call for any accidents or injury cases. If you want that top dollar, you better get that top dog. You can hit him up on Instagram at Top Dog Law or visit his website www.topdoglaw.com. Yo, it's your boy Seven She Rick. I'm here with Philly Fame TV. Let's get it. All right, Seven Street Rick, man. What's going on with you, first and foremost, good brother? Not much. I'm good. How are you, sir? Everything good. I can't complain. I can't complain. Well, we live from, you know, from the P right now, you know. We, we in the we park right seven, now. We off of Seven Street right now, you know. Yeah, we in the park right, right now. Right in the park, I mean, like, so, you know, I know you're a young guy, but, you know, people from my area, a little older, you know. They familiar with this area, you know, at the P, you know, a lot of people come from this area, a lot of people rep this area. It's a notorious yeah. area, you know what I mean? Yeah. So speak a little bit on you being a young guy coming up, you know, your pop from here, you know, he had a he, he did his thing down here too. We're gonna get a little bit into that. So what what is like for people that don't know that's not from here, just briefly explain, you know, Seventh Street, you know? Like Seventh Street is more like it's more like a family, for real, for real. It's like everybody, your cousin, something like that, is all family for me, you feel me? Everybody is more than just a block, more than just a neighborhood, it's family, you feel me? I feel like all the love is just real genuine, everybody care about you, you know? And like we was talking a little bit off camera, like I touched on in the beginning, like your pop or whatever, you know? Shout out to him, you know that? I got a connection through him, that's how I kind of knew who you was or whatever. And you know, he from here, you know, he was... He, he, I did an interview with him. He pretty much explained his story, how he, you know, he did his thing back back in the day in the streets and all that. Did a lot of jail time and all that. So when you was younger, like this, though, he was locked up pretty much for the, most of your life. Like, what, what was the story? I mean, what was your, your your thoughts of him or your your view of him through other people from the area that you heard? I mean, like, it was always like me being like a like a spitting image to like you feel me. So like it was always in my head like. Every time so I came across somebody, one of his friends, or one of my uncles or something like that, it was always good love. Like, man, your dad was this, your dad was that. So like, I always looked up to my dad, you feel me? So, like, growing up, I always wanted to, like, fulfill, like, his shoes, like, have a name for myself, like he did. You feel me? Uh, so, being as though he was, you know, behind the walls, you know, for a good period of time, like, he did, like, a dub, dub plus something like that, you know what I mean? So what was it like having to grow up, you know, having as your dad, he having that stamp, but him being away and you having to pretty much grow up with mom and all that. What was that like for you as a kid? I mean, for real, for real, like, I was always, like, taken care of, for real, for real. Like, it was just, it was, like, you feel me? I, I had two, I had two hustling parents, like, you feel me? They always, like, made sure the family was straight. Like, even my dad, like, my mom, she did. Did time behind the bars too. Oh yeah, your mom did too. Yeah, my how, mom. How did long did your mom away for? I think like, like a year and a half or something like that. So that was like that. That, that happened. When I was like into like fifth grade too. So. So who, like, who you had to go with when your when your mom went away? My my mom, my dad, mom. Okay, my grandma. Had, okay. She, she be like she raised me, stuff like that. She had me around the neighborhood still. Like my papa was. We still on that. It was, she passed away. That's on Memphis. Yeah. Okay. Seven okay. Six thirty-two Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, we talking a little bit off camera, you know, about school and all that. So I want you to speak on because you, you one of the few young boys that got, you know, a different type of story when it comes to school and all that. Y'all young boys say they ain't really go to school up to a certain point. They didn't finish and all that. No, no. But you actually graduated and yeah, you actually bro. went to a, you know, a pretty prestigious school in the city. Yeah, you know I mean, bro, for like, sports and all that. Go again, this. My mommy play that like. Saying like, you feel me? Like, she know I was always like a like a like a joke in class. Class, she, she already knows she was getting phone calls for that. Like, it was getting like, oh, Rick, you was doing. He was talking too much in class. Da da. She got that, but I made sure she didn't get a phone call. Oh yeah, Rick, he fell in his class. You feel me? Like that was never. She, I know when I come home, all that like, game was getting taken. I always had a phone, so that phone was getting taken, all that. So. I was really always trying to be on top of the school. Uh, so, 
for Ben's do. I mean, well, give him a little bit of the sports thing. You say you play football. And I mean, you play, play. I mean, in little tech. But I mean, for a period of time, you said. I mean, like give him that, give him that right there, like your little sports history or whatever. People need to listen. When you, if you either got it or you don't. That's all. That's my advice. You either got it or you don't. You feel me? I happen to go to one of the best sports schools in the city. You feel me? Probably in the country, for real, for real. At Emota. You feel me? But, you know, rap was my call. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you say, yeah, that wasn't that was really for you. Like, yeah, yeah, rap was my call. Like. Uh, but you did graduate, though, so you did finish school. Yeah. I so, Ben's school. Though, so I got a question for you. Ben's though, you from that environment that you're from, you from, know what I mean? And you're amongst different type of pe peers who wasn't probably on the school type time. So what made, was it was it like your mom influence or what made you like ultimately like, man, I'm gonna stick to it, I'm gonna finish, I mean, keep my grades, I'm gonna do the right thing. Like what was it ultimately that made you stay on that path? I mean, it wasn't like, feel me? It wasn't like, all my homies, like, some of my homies, they ain't make school for like, they died, feel me? So it was more so me doing it for them, feel me? Like I wanted to, my homie, he died his freshman year. So, like, I made a promise to myself. Like, he went to the things. same school or a different school? No, he went to a different school. Okay. Like, he, like we, he from, like, yeah, your hood we or something? Up, we we yeah. grew up from, 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 like, basically kindergarten all the way to eighth grade. We just, you know, we got to leave the school. So we went to different high schools, but we always remained in contact. But, yeah, he died. So when he died, it was just like, because I ain't going to hold you, like, I hate, I ain't gonna, I hate it going to school. Like I ain't, I ain't never like it. You feel me? But when he died, I made sure like it's a little stuff you can do for the people that you lost. You feel me? So I made sure I walked across the stage. And I, I did it for him. Okay, okay, no, that's what's up. That's what's up. So why, Benzo, that was your motivation. Did you have any like Benzo? You rapping now? You taking it serious? And you really trying to turn up with this? Is it something else you saw yourself trying to pursue? Before rap really became a thing, like man, so you was going to school and you was planning to graduate. Is it something else you saw yourself doing when you graduated? Like going to college or military, working, or like anything? To be honest, I don't really into sports. Like ah, probably like like if I couldn't like rap and I wanted to like go to college, I'm sure probably be some sports broadcast, like something like that. Okay. I'll be, I'll be stuff like that. Okay, okay. All right. So before we gonna, we gonna get to the music, but we gonna give him a little bit more of your story. I wanna get back to your pop a little bit. Being though he did all that tick. I mean, he was a street boy doing this thing and that. And then when he came home, he made the transition. You know, with the No More Foundation and the program, working with people that's coming home, helping them get resources, doing the stuff for the youth and all that. So you saying, like, knowing what you heard about him when he was a kid and all that, seeing him go through that jail time, and to see him come home and make that transition, what is that like saying that, you know, Ben's though that shit popping all that? Uh, I'm happy and I'm proud at the same time, you feel me? It's most people, like, you feel me? Most people growing up, most, like, boys, they won't got no dad, you feel me? We grow up without a dad, and then they mostly in jail, you feel me? So when they come home, sometimes they come home, they just go right back, you feel me? So we don't even really get like time, but like he told me, like he was like, yo, I'm, I'm gonna come home. I ain't going back. Like he really, he really had a plan. And then to see it go from this little idea he had in a jail cell to this big organization, that's really that. That's something I look up to. Uh, for sure, for sure. I mean, shout out to him. Like I said, I did an interview with him. I mean, he been in my drawing a couple of times. I mean, sharing the story all over and all over. Shout out my pop. Shout out to No Mo. Shout out to I shout mean, No Mo. Big Rick, you know what I mean? Yeah, big 7th yeah, Street yeah, Rick. Yeah, yeah. Big 7th Street Rick. Yeah. Yeah. So, I want to touch back on one more thing while you was in school, graduating all that. I mean, was it a point of time? I'm, I'm sure it may have been, like, or it may not have been, but more than likely it probably was a point of time where it could have went a different way for you. As far as like your school, like you not being in school, and I mean you might have been more in the streets, more like getting locked up or any type of thing like that. So, it, it so I mean, speak a little bit on you it, know a, a pivotal moment where it's though like it could have went the other way, like as opposed to the way it did. Like, like did you almost get caught up in something that you like? Nah, I'm gonna make sure I stay over here. Like, make sure I do this. Like, did you I mean, almost get booked for something? Like, I mean, it's it's just like. 
I want to say like, I ain't, no, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't almost get booked for nothing, but it's just like, it's always like, you be able to, you got like, just maintain, like, I just maintain my work, that's all I can say like that, and then, when I went to school, you know, the pandemic happened, so we ain't really had to go to school, so the work was easy, for real, for real, so yeah. it was just like. So yeah, you put the people that yeah. don't know you're a younger boy, so you 18, yeah. so you yeah. fresh out of, yeah. out of high school, so you went to school yeah. when y'all, y'all was never doing the, the virtual, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. All right, got you, got you, got you. All right, so we're going to move, move forward past that a little bit. I mean, not too far past mm -hmm. it. Like I said, you still fresh, you still young. So, mm -hmm. now, I mean, I want you to touch on this, though. Uh, Benz, though, I mean, your name's Seven Street Rick. And, you know, recently Larry Krasner did his little press conference where he was mentioning people's names and stuff like that. So did you ever think, like, when you heard that, like, Man, I should change my name, even though he ain't talking about me and ain't got nothing to do with me. Maybe I should change my name, or maybe I should, you know, like, or maybe I should change my lyrics and how I spit. But did it, did it do anything in your mind, like, man, I should switch up my stuff with me, even though he might not be talking about me? Man, like. we ain't. Larry Craft don't got nothing to do with what we got going on over here, like, for real. Like, that's seven. Uh, I think, like, feel me. My name, that's my name, you feel me, Seven Street Rick, that's who I am. That's what I, that's what I represent. So, you feel me, like, I don't feel like that. I just know it ain't got nothing to do with none of that over there. So, keep Seven Street out, out, out all mentions, please. Yeah, thank you. Uh, so, let's get to the music a little bit. I mean, Benz, though you fresh, new, but you've been making, I mean, you've been making your waves, you've been doing your thing. Got some, I mean, for a new artist, you came in with the clean visuals. I mean, your stuff professional. Yeah. I mean, you got some some good features, some solid yeah. features from some solid artists in the city. So, but you know, you you do the the, the new rap that everybody do now. So let me ask you, like, who influenced your, your sound and your music? Like, who would you listen to that inf inf influenced you, inspired you to want to want to rap? Uh, like, I mean, I don't. Nobody inspired me on the rap, but I can say like on the sound wise, like. I'm really in tune with like artists, like big artists, like Lil Dirt, No Cat, uh, um, Lil Baby, like, you know what I'm saying, artists like that, you feel me? So I could like, I like to study all like different kinds of music, you feel me? That's, that's, that's important, I think, so you can be able to switch it up. Uh, so, bands do like the new wave, a lot of the new wave in Philly, I mean, the, the most popular wave right now, one of the most popular waves is the drill wave. Then you got the party side, you know what I mean? Like, so they the two waves that's kind of running Philly right now. So Benz, I heard some of your stuff, so you more like, you definitely ain't on the party with you know me, you know what I mean? So you, you more so on the, on the drill type time, you know what I mean? So like, far as like the drill scene, you know, like, Benz, there's ever a lot of people in the city that's rapping and doing it. Do you feel like because you're a new artist, you know, everybody got their little affiliations with whoever they do music with and whoever they do business with, do you feel like obligated to like, all right, if I'm cool with this guy and do music with him, even though it's all music, I can't do music with these people because he might think I'm cool with them. Or like, do you feel like the politics of it? Like, man, like, do you worry about that? Or like, I don't, nah, I like, do I don't whoever, like, I don't, like, I don't hold nobody accountable for nothing. If I don't, if I don't mess with you, I don't mess with you. you feel me? That don't got nothing to do with another man or any whatever they got going on. You feel me? Right. So that's that's where I got shit. Yeah. Right. I don't, so I don't really. You feel me? If I don't mess with you, that's my reason not to do a song with you. Not, you know what I'm saying? Just it ain't no mob like affiliation, mob type. You know what I'm saying? Right, yeah. But do you do you do see stuff like that going on? Yeah, I do though. Yeah, yeah, everybody like it'd be a bro. It'd be a bunch of fake pages, bro. Like it'd be a bunch of fake pages. They start writing you. They start doing all this. Like you feel me? They they be wild, bro. Right, right, right. So. I want to touch on some of your music and some because I, I listened to some of your stuff. You know what I mean, I checked out some of your visuals. Obviously, I just dropped the EP. Right, we gonna get and we gonna yeah. get to that. You know what I mean, sure, sure. but I want you to speak on some of the stuff. One thing that you said in your rap, I want to go back to your pop a little bit. One thing you said in your rap right. about, uh, I, think, I can't quote the exact line, but it was something to the extent like your pop might have felt some type of way when we weren't sending them some letters or something yeah. like that. Elaborate a little bit on that. I mean, like it was like. You know, as a youngin', you feel me? Like, I wasn't really like, I get in trouble. You feel me? Like, yeah, he'll do it, he'll do it, bro. Like, it's, it's, it's bits and deeds to reach out and stuff like that. You feel me? But it's stuff like, 
me, him writing me, I ain't writing back, like, him being on the phone, I'm not trying to come to the phone, like, just like young boy, like, I wasn't, I really basically, I wasn't trying to hear it and stuff like that, but, like, that's what I meant by that, I had to be, like, yeah. we had to wonder, because when you in that cell, bro, you in the jail cell, bro, they ain't, you probably could go crazy in there, bro, so, like, I could just imagine, like, he was trying to reach out to his son, you feel me, his son not reaching back, I just had a daughter, so imagine me trying to, Reach out to my, she not, wow, that's crazy. Uh, all right, another one of your drinks, another one of your songs. You said something to this thing. Like I said, it ain't the exact quote, but you said something to this thing. The, I, I got to watch what I say because I mean everything I say. You do. Like, they just, like, what you, you, you got to. You can't, you can't really say, like, that's why, like, you gotta like you gotta put it in there. So that mean, mean, let me let me ask another question. So that mean that are you consciously watching what you saying in your lyrics? Like make sure I don't say certain stuff. I mean, make sure I. Let me. I mean, I mean you you gotta do that with, with a lot of your your art and stuff. It's sometimes songs I didn't read dead over because I ain't like the verse. So yeah, like it's probably, but probably really like, yeah yeah I do I do. Alright, right, right. I do. And I seen on your ground one of your captions, you know, elaborating more on that, saying how something you be, it was a bar, I can't remember the first part of the bar, but the second part was something like niggas telling on themselves they too specific and they kind of Oh that no, yeah, yeah, that's uh that's not even me, bro. That's that's Z and Five, bro, yeah. Recipe Z and Five though. He was he was that bro. He was, I tell her, I tell her about it. he was that. Yeah, that's what you know, come down the project. Fish Street. Yeah, that was in five. He was talking that talk. People really be a lot of people I like just said, Larry Crabner, everybody tell him on these show, you feel me? Gotta yeah. watch what you say. Alright. Oh fix. Fix. Alright, so now let me transition a little bit. Cause you spoke on it, you bro. You said you just had a daughter. Yeah. Came a father, a young father, eighteen yeah. years old, man. What is it like, man? How? What is it like, and how has that changed how you view life and things moving forward? How it's gonna change how you move? Like, what is the trend? I know it's only been two months, so it's still fresh. But like, just speak a little bit on you know where you at with it now. I move like real, real, real low key. Like you won't, you ain't gonna catch Rick and Lou type of like. I don't want to be out at the function. I don't want to be with this. I don't want to do all that. But ain't business or you ain't we locked down I don't wanna really wanna hang out and stuff so that's like it got me moving like she got me moving a lot smarter moving differently but yeah so no, for sure for tighten sure. me up real rap right. no, tighten me sure, right up sure. now, let's get into some of the music you know I mean I see you got a feature an early feature with G1 I mean we got a nice little wave it had a nice little wave for a nice little minute like yeah. G wave been with me I mean, well respected, especially amongst y'all, like y'all generation. Yeah, you know what I mean, yo, she won that, bro. Like I tell you, like especially going to school, but that's all I used to hear people coming to school. Yeah, cause he like older, so he like yeah. a, kind of like an old head to, to you and y'all generation, kind of. I mean, yeah, short, yeah, you say that, yeah. I don't know exactly how old he is. Yeah, but I'm about to say, yeah, I'm about to say, yeah, say that. He was yeah. rap, he was rapping back then, yeah. So you can say that, yeah, yeah. Uh, and you got another John with, I mean, and that's you, Shido. I yeah. seen, I mean, you got a nice little way too in the city, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, for you to be a new rapper, I mean, fairly new, nobody really know you yet, you know what I mean? Yeah. Outside of like your hood, people that know yeah. you, like, so how you pulling off these features and these visuals and all this clean kind, like, how you pulling this off as a new young 18 year old in the game? Like, you got a network, bro, you got a network, bro, like, People be having too much pride to do that. You feel me? Like, cause like before, before I got featured with them, bro, I was listening to them. Like, real, like, I was listening to them. Like, I'm playing that, that G1, Shido, Shido, yeah. I fuck with Shido, Shido. Shido probably one of my favorite rappers in the city. Yeah, so, that's all it is, bro. Anybody that wanna start rapping, go out there. Network, you feel me? Stop having too much pride. 
network. Yeah. So you pulled them jaws on the strip of you on some networking type yeah. and nobody really Yeah, so nah, I don't like, you, yeah. I was about to say, bro, I don't even I don't even have a manager and stuff like that. So anything that do would be all nah, like I just wanted you to make it clear because yeah. you know based on your pop who he is, yeah. like people might be thinking like he nah, might he nah, might do everything bro. for you and yeah, you ain't really nah, gotta do yeah, nothing to all that. No, bro, that's what I don't want nobody <laughs> Yeah, that would you make that clear. I ain't no bro, anything like it's be like it be, it's come off from the muscle, you feel me? Like, yeah, yeah, my, me and my team, we got it. No more, please sound different, please different, please separate. Uh, yeah. But he do, he do show me love a lot, though. Yeah. Nah, as he should, let me as he should. Let me as he should, So, just dropped the a project. Yeah, I dropped the EP. Dropped the EP and all that. But before you get to that, I want you to, Speak on something, you know, in regards to you know what's going on in the city right now. You know the climate of the city, the, the music, the streets, all all across the board. You know, it's young boys that's coming up that might think about you know jumping out there, getting active. Based yeah. though you went, you 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 from this, but you yeah. stayed in school, you did your thing, but you took losses. Like you said, you lost one of your friends yeah. as a freshman. You know what I mean, so you took yeah. some losses, lost some of your friends. So what would you say to a young boy that thought about? You know, getting active in this, like being outside. I mean, like getting out there, like. Nah, that. like. That was that feel me, like. Street, like streets. It's, it's really only like two ways, like really in this. Like a lot of people don't got an out in it. You feel me? So, find your out. You really gonna jump in this? Make sure there's a good reason you jumped on it. You feel me? Like, my homie. That's that's when I got into like, when he died. Like that's when I like. I fell for the streets track. This ain't nothing you want to be in. It ain't nothing you want to be going through with somebody. Got to worry about your whereabouts and doing all this other stuff. It's more than life than just the streets. You feel me? So, if you want to be on that, you want to be acting, go ahead, go ahead. You feel me? But always remember that, though. What I just said, have an out. It's more than life than the streets, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so now new project just dropped. Go ahead, talk. I mean, give them a brief rundown of that. How they can find it. I mean, give them all the plugs. Yeah, it's ready to live. You feel me? That's, Why that's the that. title? What that title? Yeah, the, the like that. I'm in a, I'm in a new, I'm in a new chapter in my life, bro. For real, for real. Like I ain't. I'm ready. I'm ready to live. Like you feel me? So you feel like prior to this, you ain't really living? No, nah, bro. I'm. We about to. We, I tell all my homies, we're gonna be living real soon. And I'm really on that. You feel me? I'm really I'm really on this right now. So, you feel me? Like I said, like, my homie died, I fell, it, I fell to the to the streets and stuff. So, everybody be ready to die, we're in the risk they life and stuff, but everybody don't be ready to live. So, y'all gotta tune in. I'm really talking on that, John. Mm -hmm. So, go ahead, plus on all streaming platforms and all that. One of them yeah. It's on all platforms, all streaming platforms, iTunes, uh, you got Spotify, YouTube, all of them, Pandora, everyone, all platforms, ready to live. Uh, go ahead and plug your, your IG and any other Same. socials you got. And at 7 Street Rick, you feel me? Same. We got the guys out here too, they out here with us too. I'm saying, I wasn't in the camera. He wasn't in the camera. Got the guys in there. Got the guy there. <laughs> Who? Plug, plug your gram again, brother. Jehovah Witness 4L. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Jehovah Witness 4L. Jehovah Witness. So you really a Jehovah Witness or you just didn't? I'm <laughs> really a Jehovah Witness. I was really a Jehovah Witness. Yo, that's Yo. Really Shout Jehovah out to Bo. Follow. Go ahead and plug yeah. your job, bro. They got everybody that got it. They know who I am already. Like, I ain't. Yeah. Saw 7 Was. Was he? Well, in this bitch. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's funny as shit, though. He's dead serious. Yeah, yeah. 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 Anything else you got you want to say before we get out here? Anything you get a chance to touch on? Speak on. Let the people know what I mean. All little guys. You know what I'm saying? Uh. Whole stream. Ready to live. EP. I just tape out right now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, and that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it.